Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jen. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to be updated every time I have a new and fun video to share. I share lots of organizational videos, cleaning videos, Disney stuff, mom stuff, kid stuff, um, hauls. I'm just kind of all over the place and if you're into any of that, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Today I want to share with you what is in my purse and I just wanted to say I cannot believe that I was able to completely downsize from a very very large mom purse to this little tiny Dooney and Burke purse. It has been a game changer. Let me show you the purse that I used to carry around with me. Okay guys so these are like the last three purses that I have used. So we have this big black one and then I have this really big brown purse and they're all super cute I do like them but they're big and then this very large orange purse so this is my typical um, size of purse that I use and they tend to be very heavy I pretty much fit in them as much as they will hold just because I can it gives me more options to carry more things around so that being said, this has really been a huge change for me and definitely for the better. And I don't mean to say that I will never use a large purse again because just depending on what's going on in my life, I very likely probably will go back at some point in time to a bigger purse just depending on what's going on. But right now, for this season of my life, I don't need to carry around a bunch of kids stuff. I don't need to carry around snacks and drinks and activities to keep my kids busy. Um, my big thing was I always had to carry around two EpiPens with me for my children and now that they're all in school full time I don't necessarily always need to have them with me but I do have room um, to still fit them in here when absolutely necessary. So let me go ahead and show you everything that I have in my little mom purse and um, if you guys want to take a look at my old mom purse I'll leave a link above because my last purse had like all kinds of stuff everything you could imagine it was like the Mary Poppins purse there was like a medical kit and all kinds of medicines and band-aids and I don't even remember all the stuff I used to carry around I do know that it was unnecessary okay so let's take a peek in my purse and I'll just show you the inside quickly. So basically, everything is in the center, but there are some side compartments as well. So right here is like a zipper compartment, and then on this side is just like a little pouch that you can slip things into. And I did a Juni and Burke unboxing of this purse, so if you really want to get a better look at the purse itself, um, I'll link that above and below so you can take a look at the purse itself and the structure of it. Okay, so of course I have a wallet, and this is just um, a little wallet that I purchased from Kate Spade, and I like it a lot because I think it matches the purse very nicely. And I have everything that I need in here, all of my credit cards, my ID, money, and then there's even a little zipper on the back to put change in. And of course, I can't go anywhere without my phone, so my phone fits perfectly in there as well. Right now I'm just showing you everything in the middle portion of the purse and then I'll show you what I have like in those little side compartments. I carry around um, one of these little planner books. They basically just have the months, but I like these as like a quick glance of the month and what is going on. And if I need to um, remember something, if somebody, you know, gives me a date that I need to remember, I just like having this in my purse and I'll jot it down. For some reason, I still don't do the phone calendar thing. I don't know why. I tried it a couple of times, but I just like to write things down. So I keep this in my purse as well. Of course, I have my keys, my car keys, and my house key. And then, like I said, sometimes I do need to have uh, my children's EpiPens with me. So I do have um, my daughter's EpiPens in here. And then there's this little key fob that is attached. And that's where I have like my, um, you know, like my Panera card and my card for the gym, grocery store, library, things like that. That's all on this little fob. 
And that's everything that is in like the center of the purse. I'll just show you. So everything in the middle has been taken out. And now I'll show you what I have on the side compartments. First we'll go in just like the flap that kind of opens up. I keep a mirror. Here's my little aerial mirror that I bought a long time ago. I have some Nivea hand cream. A little um, mini hand sanitizer. And then I have a couple of hair ties, like a little hair clip, a little hair tie. I have some Listerine Cool Mints, and then I just have one of my favorite lipsticks. So I kind of keep all of like the beauty products on the flap compartment so I can easily access a lipstick or a hair tie or whatever, a mint, stuff like that. And then on the zipper compartment, there's like a little zipper compartment right here. Inside of there I have just a little um, sticky notepad with a pen. Of course it's my Walt Disney World pen that I took from the hotel. <laughs> and then some feminine products. And that is it. And I have found that this is everything that I need. Like I have not ever gone in my purse. I've been using this purse I guess since like November now. So it's been November, December, January, February, March. We're going on four months now. Um, I haven't found myself in a situation where I didn't have something that I really, really needed. And I noticed when I had my big mom purse, I carried around so many things that I never used. Like I didn't need to carry around all of the medicine with me and um, you know, tons of band-aids and Neosporin. And I was just like always anticipating worst case scenario and being happy that I had it. But um, it was very rare that I even needed it. So I'm gonna challenge you guys to see if you can downsize your handbag. It is definitely so much more comfortable running around, running errands and things without having all of that weight on my shoulder. I was always having like neck and back pains and I have to say ever since I really lightened the load of my purse, I am so much more comfortable. I don't know if I'll ever go back to a larger size purse. I know there's those days where you're running around all day and it's nice to have like snacks and maybe a bottle of water or have your planner with you or a book. And on those days, I would have no problem taking one of my larger purses with me just so I have more things. Um, but on my day to day, I really don't need anything bigger than this. And I just love this size purse. I actually wanna see um, if Junie and Burke makes this same style with maybe like some lighter spring colors or something because this is kind of, you know, darker for the winter months. I would like something a little bit lighter for the spring and summer, but this is the perfect size and I love it and I've been like so happy with it. So I challenge you, if you are interested in doing this downsizing your purse challenge, go ahead and you can, if you're a YouTuber, you can link your video in the um, comments below or just let me know in the comments below how you made out. Is there something that I'm missing? Is there something that I should have in my purse that you feel is absolutely necessary that I don't have? What am I forgetting? Because I feel like I really have all of the very important things and when I am out and about, I do have like a lot of stuff in my car too. So I have like a hairbrush in my car and I have a medical kit in my car and all of those types of things. So, you know, worst case scenario, if I'm out, as long as I'm traveling in my car, <laughs> I know there's a place to get those other essentials. So that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I currently have in my purse. And um, if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this. And don't forget to follow me at Jen's Happy Home on Instagram. And uh, let me know how you make out. I hope that some of you guys give this a try and see if you can downsize your handbag this spring. Take care. Bye.